Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, guys, we'll be working on a BMW. So if you have a BMW, any BMW, guys, uh, 1 Series, 2 Series, 3, 4, 5 Series, guys, even 6 and 7, X3, X5, guys, and uh, you're trying to figure out if your steering angle sensor is good, if it needs to be replaced because, let's say, you have ABS, traction control light, and a code for the steering angle sensor. We'll explain, guys, what could cause that. Now, if that sensor is not calibrated, you may get a code that you need a new sensor, but actually, we'll explain what needs to be done. Stay with us, guys. That's what we'll be doing. In the meantime, guys, we'll have more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop. Why? Because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. Please, guys, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment below. Let us know if it was helpful or if you have any recommendations. So, let's go ahead and start on it now. So, this is the BMW that we'll be working on. Steering angle sensor, guys, it's usually okay located on the steering column all the way down under the steering wheel somewhere. Uh, this is, guys, the computer that we'll be using. Okay, let me reset it to start from the beginning so I can show you everything and you can see what we'll be doing now. This computer, guys, okay, works on any car, not just BMW. This is amazing. We have, like, dealer level equipment, okay, in your garage for every car. Check this thing out guys, it's listed in the description of the video below and you can see where we bought ours from. Nothing sponsored here. Those are some of the makes and models that it supports and it's amazing. So, now what we'll be doing. That computer guys, this is the tablet and uh, the programming device is actually, okay, right here. This is your programming device. And you just connect it to the OBD port of your BMW. Once you do that now guys, okay, next step will be Okay, we'll need to turn the ignition on or we can start the car. It's up to you. So we can either start it or we can turn the ignition on. I will start it. Why? Because it's easier for me to turn the steering wheel when the car is running because uh, the hydraulics will be working. Now, I will click, guys, BMW. Here, guys, we are going to... You have two options. Manually select your vehicle or you can click automatic selection. You can read the VIN number or you can manually pull it. I already have it saved, so it's quicker that way. And we click yes. This is 2005 E46 BMW 3 Series. So, now guys, it's going to take a little bit of time to load. If you have a BMW with the older, uh, the uh, older connectors for car diagnostic, it's called a 20 pin connector. This computer comes with that. But our BMW does not have this one, it just has the 16-pin DLC connector. Next, we're going to go to Diagnostics. Control Unit, we'll click Chassis, and here we'll need to select AB. Okay, let me go back. I just selected the wrong thing. We're going to go back and select uh, the steering angle sensor. Okay, it's taking a little bit of time to load, so... Steering angle sensor guys, right here. Now, you can do a few things. You can calibrate your sensor, okay? And I'll show you where, or you can see the live data. How you can test it if it's working. Now, and see if it's off. Usually when you set your steering wheel, okay, to the front, okay, this is like straight, like all the way straight, it says zero degrees, or negative one, it will be close. And if you start turning your steering wheel, you will see, okay, the computer. Okay, let me turn the light off. Maybe you can see a little bit better. Watch now, it's changing. Okay, it's changing the degrees. So that steering angle sensor is working. To the right, you have never negative numbers. To the left, you have positive numbers. Okay, and if you bring your steering wheel to the middle, somewhere really close to the middle, and you have uh, number that is way different than zero, let's say it's like negative 5, negative 10 degrees or positive 10, it means that your steering angle sensor is not calibrated because okay it could be like that, okay just a little bit off and that can throw the uh, traction control module off. Check it out, this is like 11 degrees and that's a lot of difference guys. So if it's not close to zero you have to go ahead and calibrate it and this could be done Okay, I think it was done, let me see, uh, under service. Then you go chassis, and right here, and you just follow the instructions from the computer how to calibrate your ABS, uh, now your steering angle sensor under the ABS module. Now right here, 
connection speed sensor, ventilation, adjustment sensors, let me see now, press steering angle sensor right here, and steering angle sensor matching, okay you can see you can calibrate it, or if you install the new one, you will have to match it, so, that's how you guys do it, hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you having problems with your steering angle sensor, thank you for watching, and see you guys next time.